What's going on Security Ninjas, Samuel here and I like to hack things. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to scan a target using PowerShell. Now if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I love living off the land techniques. And this one is straight to the point and super simple. So there's a couple ways you can do this. The first method I'm going to show you is setting a variable for the target IP address, as you see on the screen. I'm setting the variable target equal to the IP address that I want to scan. Next is the really long part. So in the first part of the, the PowerShell one line script are the ports we're going to scan. And I chose some pretty common ports that a Windows device might have open. Minus VNC, which is 5900. That, I threw that in there just, just in case. Next we have the functionality of the script. Using the pipe parameter, we're going to pass the port numbers over to the actual functionality of the script. After we define the ports that we want to scan and the target, we're going to pass those to a new object, specifically the sockets.tcp client using the connect method. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it, you can't barely see it, but I'm going to pass the variable, the target variable that we came up with, and this is going to take in the port numbers from the previous pipe. And if they're open, it'll say target has port X open, and we're also going to use the two out null. What this is going to do is going to get rid of all the errors, all that stuff we don't really want to see. So let's see what happens. Now we can see that a couple of the ports that we wanted to scan are open. You could do all, what, 65,000 ports if you really wanted to, but I don't suggest doing that. All right, so the second option we can use is literally putting the IP address inside the one line script instead of creating a secondary variable to uh, identify that. So I just passed it one port so you could uh, get the functionality of it. But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Now you can also pass this information to a text file for later analysis. Once the script is complete, we can look inside the file and see what ports are actually open. All right, Security Ninjas, I hope you enjoyed that quick PowerShell tip on how to scan a host. Go ahead and click that subscribe button for more hacking videos.